Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick video to highlight a couple of changes since I last posted on Chrome Canary, which is a preview version of the browser, just to um, keep you in the loop, so to speak, as to some more developments that Google has brought to Chrome Canary since I last posted. Now, previously, as I did mention, just starting with the side panel and we get this new unified side panel which is a new drop down flyout menu and currently in the stable version we have the reading list and the bookmarks which are currently available and as you can see in chrome canary we have a couple of other features that google is testing and the bookmarks which is available in the stable version currently in chrome canary has a couple of extra options and features that um, are available and one of those as i mentioned was the edit button which previously wasn't working with the little pencil to edit your bookmark so now if i click on that that's actually working now although at this stage that's that's all it does um even if i click and select those different bookmarks uh, nothing happens i cannot edit those bookmarks or do anything or rename them or anything but this is a good indication um, that Google has started to um, improve the feature and obviously has carried on to develop the feature. So obviously they do intend to carry on um, improving this feature to when it does become fully functional with these different options like the folder and the, the, the um, pencil icon, which at this stage, as mentioned, um, takes you over to edit, but nothing is currently happening because it is still early days and we are dealing with Chrome Canary. So that's the first change. And then the second um, is regarding the... Um, the rounded corners and the more material you changes rolling out that are coming to the browser in 2023 as i did post on and that's that super secret ui refresh and as mentioned in a video i posted a couple of days ago the first changes google will be bringing are check boxes and combo boxes that will be updated as part of chrome's refresh for 2023 now just to um, carry on from that last video and um, there are a couple of extra changes that have been spotted and currently, as an example, if I head to Wikipedia and I want to just translate a page as an example. So if I just click on the French version of Wikipedia, if I head to the translate bubble that um, is available in the top right, um, in the stable version of Chrome and also the preview versions, if I choose another language, that combo box is still the old combo box. Um, we don't get any colors in it and it's still the square kind of square and square combo box now if i just head over to a image that was um provided by leo over on reddit and this image was updated and uploaded to reddit recently where we can clearly see and um, i'm not seeing this currently in any of my chrome canary versions where that um uh, combo box for the translate bubble is now um that fluent design with the rounded corners compared to how it currently is as shown and these look like placeholders at the moment. This color, this kind of red color at this stage is a placeholder. So it doesn't mean that it's actually going to roll out with that color. Um, it might just be the theme that you choose for the browser. But nonetheless, um, interesting to know that Google is carrying on to um, work on that super secret, as they are calling it, um, UI refresh for next year, 2023. And that's just a couple of changes. I just wanted to bring you to your attention uh, in Chrome Canary which is a preview version of the browser. And I will obviously just keep you updated as any more features do roll out and anything does roll out development-wise when it comes to any refreshes for next year in 2023. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.